Hey guys, Ernie here. Welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. We have looked at quite a few different military mess kits here on the channel, and the one we're looking at today might just be my favorite. It's hard to say, obviously, because a lot of times the newest thing you have is your favorite, but regardless, this is a pretty cool kit. About nine months ago, I'd say, this kit just showed up at my office. It just showed up. It was sent by one of you very kind subscribers. He knows who he is. He didn't want to be mentioned during the video, but he knows who he is. Really cool gift. So let's take a look at it this morning. We're going to make a little bit of coffee with it, but first we're going to take a good look at it. A very cool mess kit that is standard issue for the British military. Thanks for watching, guys. Now this product is made by a British company called BCB International. It was founded by a gentleman named Dr. Brown and he made a cough syrup back in the day. It was in 1854 and it became known as Dr. Brown's Cough Bottle or BCB. And that's where the initials for this particular company came from. Today, BCB makes outdoor products, products for the police, um, marine grade products, and even Fire Dragon fuel, which we looked at back in the past. We looked at a BCB solid fuel stove that uses their Fire Dragon gel fuel as its main source of fuel. This particular kit is called the MK2. It's made out of aluminum. They also make another version, the MK1, which is made out of stainless steel. But let's take a quick look at this thing and then we'll boil up some water, make some coffee, and tell you guys what I think about it. All right, this is the Crusader MK2 cook kit. It is from BCB. Uh, we'll take a look at the different components here. Uh, when you open this thing up, you're gonna see a mug. You have a canteen. Go ahead and pull this out. This is like a custom, uh, this was sent, I don't know if this is, you know, where this is made, but this was made. It's a custom top for the, for the cup, which is really cool. It's made out of aluminum. And over here you've got your metal cup, which is nice. And the stove unit. I happen to have a Goshawk uh, transia type stove in here, which is what we're going to use today. Um, but that's the actual stove unit. We're going to take a look at each of these individually real quick. So this is the cup and water bottle. Uh, this is made by Osprey for NATO. Uh, it's standard issue for British military. The bottle itself holds one liter, which is basically a canteen. Okay. You can see right there. I'll read it to you guys. It says keep away from heat or flame. 2020 Osprey. Okay. So that's the canteen. The cup itself is pretty cool cup. Molded plastic away. Again, keep away from heat or flame. Made by Osprey. It's got these kind of butterfly handles on it, which are very nice. Again, this one came with this aluminum top. Uh, the weight of both these together is eight ounces. That's dry, which is Pretty, uh, pretty lightweight overall. Now, of course, this is, this is filled with water at the moment, but good look, molded plastic. Uh, this fits over the top just like that. And it has kind of like these little dents there, which helps it stick to the canteen. So it doesn't just fall off real easily. It does pop on there pretty, pretty decently. This is the Crusader Dragon Cup made of hardened aluminum, holds one liter has markings there for half a liter and a quarter of a liter and it has bcb which again is the brand this holds this osprey canteen very snugly okay it fits in there and it grabs on pretty good and that's pretty nice again putting the system together you put that there put this here and we're getting there as far as the system actually goes lastly we've got this Dragon cooker. It's for use with the Fire Dragon gel, which I actually have. I had this before. They, this was sent to me. The gel can go right in that little area right there, or you can take your Trangia style burner and put it right in there, and it gives it a place to go. Um, it has this folding metal platform, so basically you can put this over the top and put a pot or anything on top of it. This pot goes on just like that. You can see that it sits on top of that folding platform. It has that internal holder. It's very good from the standpoint of wind resistance. You put this on top and whether you have the gel or you have the alcohol burner, it's really gonna do a good job of um, keeping the wind out. Mine, as I said, came with this aluminum 
lid for the mug. Uh, it also came with this uh, multi-cam pouch. Pretty cool here. Another quality product from BCB International. So it's got email, telephone numbers, all kinds of stuff like that. What I do is I put this at the bottom, okay, just like that. You can store this with the alcohol burner in place, which is what I do. Put that there. Put this on top. And just have all your handles and stuff like that. Put this. Put this. And then this whole thing will go in. Oh. In the pouch. Actually works pretty easily. You can just let me show you. You can just cinch this up like that. Put that on top, and you've got yourself your kit ready to roll. We're going to take this outside. We're going to use a little bit of alcohol to uh, make some coffee, and maybe we'll use a little bit of this gel as well, just to show you guys the difference between the two. Oh, it's good. I have to say, this is a super robust kit. It's very well engineered. I can see why it is, at least what I understand, 
uh, standard military issue in the British military. I do wonder what stove normally comes out with it. It's obviously made for like a Trangia type alcohol burner or alcohol stove. If any of you guys know what stove is used with it normally, let me know. Do they use the fire gel or the, the gel fuel or do they use an alcohol burner? One cool thing about this kit is you can get it directly from BCB International. You can go straight to their website. I'll leave a link down below. They often also sell it on Amazon if you'd rather do that. But you can get it straight from them. It's about 66 pounds when I looked at it, or $80. So pretty reasonable. You can get a, a brand new kit that is the same one that's issued out to the military, and you can use it for yourself. So what do I like about this kit? Well, first of all, the canteen and the cup seem to be basically indestructible. Now, they're not, you know fancy looking, but you're not going to mess these things up. They're going to last a very long time. I mean, obviously we could destroy them if we wanted to, but, but within reason, they're going to stand up to just about anything. For what you get, it's pretty lightweight. It's multi-fuel capable. Uh, it's a pretty reasonable price, I think, for all the components that you get as well. What don't I like? There's a little bit of thinness to the metal right near uh, on the stove part where the little stand comes across. That little area can get a little bit uh, wobbly and can almost not melt, but it can deform whenever it's under a lot of heat. It's very easy to fix back, but it'd be nice if that wasn't the case. And of course, the cup is not heat resistant. Now, you know that going in, but it would be really nice if the cup was heat resistant. It would just give more flexibility. But that kind of is what it is. You know what you're getting when you buy it. What do you guys think about this kit? I was super excited to get it from my subscriber. I'd never seen it before, and I've done reviews on quite a few different military mess kits over the years. Uh, if you guys have any other kits you want me to check out, make sure you leave a link down below or just put it in the comments and I'll find it. I'm always looking for things to test out and try out. And uh, you subscribers are the cause of a lot of money spent here on the channel. It's absolutely my kind of kit. Uh, I love the fact that it's designed to work with a Trangia type spirit burner or of course the, um, the, the gel, the alcohol gel, but I'm going to usually stick to the alcohol burner. Let me know what you guys think about this kit. Let me know if you have one. Let me know if you want to get one. Let me know if you do get one because of this video. That would be cool if, uh, if I had you go out there and buy a kit like this. I think it's a pretty, pretty neat product and I'm excited that I got a chance to take a look at it. I'm going to put this into my um, playlist for gear reviews. I've got tons of gear review videos. I really don't know how many, but many, many on there. If you're looking for all kinds of gear, check that out down below. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, hit the subscription button. That's the biggest thing you can do for me. If you subscribe, that's gonna get these videos out to you. It's also going to lead YouTube to send out my videos, recommend them to more people. So if you can hit the thumbs up, if you can subscribe, if you can leave a comment, all those things help drive that algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers one of these days, and I think that's when the channel will really kind of take off, hopefully. But anyway, I have a lot of fun with it. It just would be cool to get one of those little play buttons. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Hope you enjoyed this look at a very cool military mess kit. Stay tuned for more videos soon. <laughs>